Uh, what it really means is a kind of cross uh, between uh, and modal, kind of the senses, so the modalities of hearing, vision, touch, taste and smell. And when we talk about cross-modal research or cross-modal findings, what we're really saying is that one sense influences another sense. So that can be everything like uh, when I play a certain piece of music or soundscape and it changes the taste of the food. That's cross-modal because what you hear is changing what you taste. Or if I think about changing the texture of the cutlery you hold, and again that seems to bring out something different in the tasting experience again as a cross-modal effect then of touch uh, on, on taste uh, and aroma as well. And the more we look now, uh, that, that kind of traditional notion that our five senses are separate, like they are on the outside with eyes and ears, nose and mouth, when we look on the inside in the brain, we find that the senses are all the time communicating one with the other. And it's our job as kind of psychologists and neuroscientists to try and understand the rules that the brain uses to combine each and every one of the senses. And then once knowing about the rules, uh, that sometimes one sense dominates over another, that sometimes when you put weak senses together, if they're congruent, they can give you a really super additive response. It's much bigger than the sum of the parts. Knowing about those rules of, of multi-sensory perception or cross-modal uh, perception, knowing about those result rules in the brain and in the lab, we can then uh, try and apply them out there in the real world by talking to chefs and to designers and try and get them excited about the science of the senses, so much so that they want to incorporate some of the findings into the things that they deliver that are hopefully sort of uh, fun to taste, fun to experience, uh, things that we want to talk about and share with our friends, and ultimately things, I think, that, that will start out sometimes in restaurants and that you may never get the chance to go to, but hopefully what starts out there at the hands of a really creative chef or cocktail maker or barista or, or artist will eventually percolate down to the mainstream, to the high street and perhaps eventually to all of our own homes.